All right, guys, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at crawling an actual page. So this is actually a pretty fun function. And again, all this function is gonna do is probably exactly like you think. We're gonna pass it in a URL or a web page, and it can be any web page on your website. And then it's gonna go ahead and connect to that page, get all of the links. And once it has those links, it's gonna add them to the waiting list if you, you didn't crawl the page already. So once all of those links are in the waiting list and the page has been crawled, what it also needs to do is it needs to take that URL and add it to the crawled file. And that ensures that you aren't crawling the same page over and over and over again. So again, that's what it's gonna be doing. And also after all that's done, we need to update those data files because whenever we create another spider, we need to make sure that it has an up-to-date copy of you know the newest links, the most up-to-date links. So let's go ahead and get started. And this is also gonna be a static method like before. And what do I name it? Crawl page. All right, so hold on, my freaking nose. I'm not even gonna pause my video. You know, I have this box of uh, tissues by my computer. That sounded kind of weird, but I do just because I have a runny nose all the time. And I actually have to like split them in half um, lengthwise because if I just try to stick the entire thing up my nostril, then I can't fit all the tissue in there. So yeah, I'm sure you guys wanted to know the details of how I uh, you know, get snot out of my nose. But anyways, whenever we crawl a page, we need to display, well, we don't need to, but it's good to display what page you're crawling to the user. So since this is a multi-threaded program, I'm gonna say like thread two, currently crawling the forum homepage. Uh, thread five, crawling the videos page. Thread one, crawling Bucky's profile, whatever. And it's always good to display something because if they just boot up your program and it's just a black box with a cursor blinking, then they're gonna be like, um, is this program running? Did my computer just freeze? Whatever, so make sure you display something. Might as well display what URL we're on. So the first one, like I said, is gonna be the thread name. The first time it's actually just called first spider, but it's usually gonna be the thread name. And the second one is just the page URL. Pretty sweet. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do inside this method is we just wanna make sure that we didn't already crawl this page. So we're gonna say, get that URL and make sure that it's not in spider.crawled. Now make sure that you aren't using crawled file, use the crawled set for faster operations. And then before we start you know, writing all the good stuff, let's just go ahead and print our indicators to the user so they you know, know that something's going on. So the first thing I want to print out is what name of the thread it is and what page they're currently crawling. So the thread name, crawling page URL. So it's gonna say like thread two is, I'll say now crawling, um, you know, the new Boston slash index.php or whatever. Now I'm also gonna print out some other cool stats. So I thought it would be a good idea to print out how many links were in the waiting list and also how many links have already been crawled. So that way the user can boot up this program, go you know to McDonald's or whatever, come back and be like, oh, so it already crawled like 10,000 pages. That's pretty cool. So Q U E U E, uh, uh, uh. All right. So the amount of items in the waiting list is we first need to convert it to a string since it's gonna be a number. We just need to get the length of spider.q. So this is our set. Get however many items are in it. And since that's gonna be integer value, just go ahead and convert it to a string. Simple enough. And now let me just do the same thing for crawled. And let me go ahead and separate it with a pipe symbol. Maybe I'll do it with a tab. Nah, pipe's good. Why are my fingers like sausage fingers today? So for crawled, we basically want to do the same thing. And spider dot crawled. All right, so it's gonna say like Q um, 20 crawled six, something like that. Come on, scroll bar. All right, 
So now we actually have to make the spider do something. And a lot of these functions we didn't create yet. So if we get a little issue, don't worry, we're gonna be creating them in like the next two tutorials. So the first one is spider add links to Q. So I don't even need to explain what this is gonna do. Once we retrieve a set of links, we're just gonna to wanna to add them to the waiting list. Now, where do we get those links from? Well, spider gather links is essentially what we're gonna do there. And let me just throw this in and then I'll explain it. All right, so this is a function we're gonna to make to actually connect to a web page and it's gonna return a set of all of the links that it found on that web page. Now, once we have that set of links, we're just gonna add it to the waiting list. And this is the waiting list that all spiders can see and they can all be synchronized that way. Pretty easy stuff. So after that, what we need to do is we need to go back to the waiting list and we need to remove the page that we just crawled. So we're actually taking it from the waiting list and we need to put it on the crawled file. So spider.crawled, and since this is set, you can just use the built-in add function and page URL. So again, after you're done crawling a page, all you're doing in these two lines is mo moving it from the waiting list to the crawled list, simple enough. And the last thing you need to do is, since this right here takes care of the sets, we now need to update the actual files. All right, so these are for fast operations. And then once it's done with all that, that's when you actually update the file. And I'll just say update files. And all this function is gonna do is it's gonna call both of those sets and it's gonna convert them to a file. Easiest thing ever. So there you go, that is your crawl page. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. So in the next couple of tutorials, we got three more functions to make. We first need to connect a page, gather all the links. And again, if that sounds tough, 90% of the work is done for us right here. So it's gonna be real quick. Once we have the links, we need to add them to the queue. Not that hard, we already have that set. And then we need to update files. We already got that function created as well. So it's gonna be a piece of cake. So thank you guys, I will see you then.